we're going to try and pull this old Bronco frame up onto this trailer so I can take it to the car wash and get all the grease off of it. Hopefully the front of the trailer won't tip up. Take that frame and transmission, engine down to the car wash, get it cleaned up. Okay, we're headed out to Crystal to the car wash. Probably got to stop by Blanchard first, get some quarters. We're going to clean off this motor and uh, engine, transmission, and transfer case in the frame. Maybe I'll pick up some. Uh, oven cleaner while I'm there so I spray it down with oven cleaner and then when I get to the car wash hit it with some pressure and some degreaser and uh, get it cleaned up nice so Crystal a little town by my house uh, they got a circle track there Crystal Motor Speedway it's a great place used to go there when I was a kid my uh, middle son uh, he used to race there a long time ago uh, unfortunately he uh, passed away oh gosh 2007 when he was 21 not from racing but uh, a lot of good memories there um, it's a great little town nice lake good beach good people so we're gonna head on down there and see if we can't clean this thing off. Okay, so I just sprayed everything down with oven cleaner. My gosh, that stuff doesn't work. I bought cheap stuff. I see why it's cheap. It would have took me three days to spray it. So hopefully they got degreaser in here and I don't even know if they're open because I know they're open during racing season. I don't know if they're open now. I guess we'll find out. Well, there's one of three bays open. The one that's open, apparently somebody else needed the wands more than the car wash did. So, I guess I have to go home and get my own out. But it's the middle of January and normally there'd be three feet of snow on the ground and 
be about 10 degrees out. Today it's 38. And there's no snow. So, I guess uh, good a time as any to use my own power washer. Like I said yesterday, I took this to the car wash to spray it off, sprayed it with oven cleaner, bought the cheapest I could, and it sprayed like it was the cheapest I could buy. So today, got home from work and uh, sprayed it down with straight degreaser concentrate for my power washers. Got it all soaked down, I'm gonna let it soak a little bit. I took the engine up in the air with the tractor and uh, spray it down. And we'll see how things go from there. I don't know if any of you guys got one of these tractors with auto regen, but you got a problem way up to about 2,500 RPM. It and runs for about five or ten minutes. So I'm gonna quit recording for a bit because I know it's noisy. Probably should have did that uh, before I even took the motor and the transmission and transfer case out of it, but who knows, it's going to be 38 degrees in Michigan on the 18th of January when it's down in the 30s in Florida, southern Florida right now. Who would be warmer here? Not that I'm complaining, it can stay this way all year. Well, this might be a bad idea, but I got a little blue ratchet strap wrapped around this transmission and uh, transfer case. It's not that heavy though, so it should be all right. <laughs> 